All righty, folks. You're catching me at a rare moment. I'm in the wolf den. I'm not really doing anything. This, is, this isn't like uh, some video that I thought about, okay? Because I'm sitting here with pictures on my phone, and I was posting, going to post on my community tab, my community page, on my YouTube channel, which I know you don't go to because nobody goes to channels hardly, okay? But I post all kinds of great content and stuff that makes you think and polls and photographs on my community page, on my actual channel. But I am sitting here and I am a little irritated. And first off, I got my Dexter Russell hat on. I don't have my ugly stick hat on. And the reason being is Dexter Russell hasn't changed in years. And what am I talking about? Okay. One of the commenters on my last video of me putting a uh, heat shrink on a cork guide or a cork uh, grip on an all-star rod that I had. He says, hey, you know, I'm, Walmart's getting in the new intercoastal rods. Check them out. They're all going to have stainless steel guides. So I had to go uh, to the VA clinic this morning real early at like 7 o'clock. All right. And on the way home, I buzzed by Wally's World. And I went in to a random, random, I mean, a Walmart that I just never go to, okay? Hardly ever, because it is a B-I-T-C-H to get in and out of there. Why there's a Walmart there, I have no earthly idea. So I go in there, and I go straight to the sporting goods department, and what do I find? I find the brand new intercoastal rod okay and yeah it's exactly like he said they're putting like stainless steel guides on the intercoastal rod you say well why would you bitch about that Dave because they changed the whole damn rod here is one here is one and I'll put up a picture in this video of what I saw Number one, let's start at the end. Why is it they're making everything so freshy water? Okay. Number one, this is a brand new one that I've never used. This is brand new. The only thing I ever did is put my little hook hanger here. They get rid of the butt cap. Salt water fishermen that I know of love this because this intercoastal rod right here intercoastal and I know the light ain't great because this is another one of these I'm just turning on the camera videos okay this was kind of the cousin to the ugly stick light l-i-t-e that had the first generation basically of like stainless steel type guides with stainless steel inserts instead of ceramic I was so glad I did two videos that I thought these went by the wayside also because my local Walmart, which these are Walmart rods, you're not going to find them on UglyStick.com. Okay? That's where you see their lineup at UglyStick.com. So they brought out basically the exact same thing as the ugly stick light from years ago that everybody loved. Saltwater guys loved them. Everybody I knew had them. Except the only difference was is when they made this intercoastal instead of the light, 
They just put ceramic guides on it. And there's not a damn thing wrong with these guides. Not a damn thing wrong with them. They changed the colors, but this is the Ugly Stick Lite, L-I-T-E. All right, with different guides and it's different color. And they've been selling them at Walmart for years. The Gunmetal Gray Fuji Real Seat. A company that makes real seats, not a company that makes blanks and VHF antenna fiberglass blanks and little kiddie poles and push button reels. No, this is a company who makes real seats. Wonderful real seat in gunmetal gray. A, what they call a cushioned real seat. That really, I guess, you know, Shakespeare, they're making their own now, or they're buying them off of some, you know, third party or whatever. Okay, so it had this wonderful real seat. The new intercoastal rod, gone! Okay, the large, that's a man's hand. This ain't a girl's hand, okay? That's a man's hand. Big foregrip with this little accent of EVA foam on the front. And as you saw maybe in my last video, I'm not a monster cork fan, but it is what it is and I live with it. And I love these rods. I mean, this is what I use. When I go fishing on any given day, I grab my intercoastals, okay? I have my stripers and my tigers and everything, all for customers mostly. But when I go fishing solo by myself on my boat and I know I'm not going to be slinging six ounces of lead, I got intercoastals. This is what I use. All right. <coughs> so they get rid of this. Then, like the Ugly Stick Light had, a heavily, what seems to me, heavily epoxied blank. That's called durability, all right? Not this matte finish. We're not doing, rods don't reflect into the car world with the matte black finish or the Harley Davidson world with the matte black uh, motorcycles. I never talked to a fisherman in my life who said, give me a really dull ass looking rod, okay? That's the reason why finishes are finishes, because they are durable, all right? Basically from here on, the guide spacing is totally different. The blank could be totally different. They could be taking that GX2 rod, slapping a little of this and a little of that on it, and passing it off as an intercoastal. I don't know. I don't put anything by these big giant corporations building everything in damn China, okay? But Ugly Stick has the respect of so many people because of just the durability of the blanks. That's what made that company something. That's what made Shakespeare Shakespeare. The, making kitty rods with push buttons on them you know, a, a Batman rod isn't what made Shakespeare. In the minds of a real fisherman, what makes an ugly stick is how it's made, okay? We expect it to be what we've been using. And I watch all kinds of car repair and all kinds of stuff, other videos on YouTube. And I just watched one with Scotty Kilmer. If you're a fan of Scotty Kilmer, I am too. And I'm banging everything in this little room again. But why can't, I read in his comments, several people said, why can't a car company make a two models of car, two, or two models of truck, that's it, and make it durable, it lasts, you know, uh, and that's it specialize in making the best, the best. 
Well, in my mind, the ugly stick blanks are the best. But I want you, as I was putting a post on my community page, next time you're in Walmart, and if you're like me, I walked in, and what did I see? I saw an older model intercoastal sitting right next to the new intercoastal. And I was shocked. Okay, yeah. Oh, stainless skies? But then they cheapen it. Because that's what, in my opinion, that's what the whole GX2 was all about. That matte black. Every time they don't have to put a finish on a rod. Or as nice of a, a threading here. Or a little shorter cork. Or not a name brand real seat or a little shorter rear grip, or not a big cap that saltwater fishermen like. This was a saltwater rod. They're saving money. When you're building rods, millions of rods, they're saving money. And if you look at those two rods next to each other, don't tell me that you're not seeing cheapening. Why is the world getting cheapening? You know, and everything's going cheap, 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 throw away. Yes, they sell them at Walmart. Yes, that rod right there can catch me a 100-pound fish without thinking about it. I, w I wouldn't even think about it. I've done, I've done it with the catfish rods, okay? Um, I could do it with this tomorrow, you know? If there was a tarpon sitting out there at the inlet, I could hook him up and I can get him to the boat on this, no problem. I can go bass fishing with this. I can go saltwater fishing with this. I can go offshore fishing with this. I'm just not into this whole cheapening. I want you to take a look the next time you're at Walmart, and you have to do it soon, and put those two together if, if they're sitting there. Or what you really need to do is get yourself a new one of these, because these are waving goodbye, I'm sure. These are waving goodbye. And if I... And I even came home and I looked on walmart.com. And I think, because, I mean, I was a little blown away, I think, that the new intercoastal rods, instead of something like this, is $38.99 or $39.99 or something like that. I believe they're $60 plus. $60 plus. And don't confuse. Everybody's confusing. When I say intercoastal. They're, they're thinking, oh, the Light Pro. Now, this right here is a duplicate of the old Light. Just Light. Not Light Pro. Light Pro is a cheap sh uh, freshwater rod. So, it just burns my ass that every time you turn around, they're getting rid of something and they're changing something. I have to deal with that with Google. As a website owner, you have to jump through hoops with Google. But I just wanted to put this out there that this is an intercoastal, which is a cousin to the light. And I want you to look at the new ones and then let me know what you think in the comments below. Go right ahead. This week, this weekend coming up, come back to this video and tell me what you think. Because obviously I have a commenter who thinks it's great, but I don't know if he's a saltwater fisherman, bass fisherman, bluegill. I don't know what he does. But now these are done. These are done for. Just like the lights were done for. That's going to drive the price of these up, say on eBay or some salesman samples or whatever. It's going to drive the price of these up, most likely. Because fans of the Intercoastal at Walmart, which you can't get on UglyStick.com or anywhere else, only at Walmart, is now changing. And I don't believe they're changing it for the good. As I said, a little tiny butt cap, nothing. A little shorter grip. No Fuji Real C. Short little grip. No accents. And... If you look, I wanted to show you, here's a major deal with salt water durability, okay? All the way 
to the guide before the tip. Double footed guides. Double footed. I just talked about my all star rod in my last video that I put shrink wrap on the cork. How that rod was single footed guides and one of them broke off. And I don't even use that rod that often. I use it for a single purpose many times. But I bet you anything, these are probably throwbacks to Fuji guides. That's why they're so good. Because it's a company that makes real seats and guides. It possibly is. I don't know. And I have a microscope to see if there's a, a Fuji insignia on these guides. Who knows? But double-footed. The new rod, single-footed guides that just break off. It is a freshwater rod. Maybe freshwater is what rules the world. I know the bass fishing guides or uh, bass fishermen in tournaments, they have so much influence on what you buy. You know, lures, reel, buy this new reel, got to have this new reel. Oh, it's got this new knob on it. It's all bullshit, folks. Bullshit. You use what works. And it's like your boat, you know, if you got a boat, maintain it. Just the new boat right over there ain't going to catch fish no much, no better than the one that you're already in, most likely. Okay? If you're catching fish in the boat you got right now, if you're catching fish on the rod you got right now, <sighs> just really pisses me off. So you'll be able to read it if you actually went to my um, channel, Captain Dave's Sport Fishing. You'll be able to see, if you clicked on community page, you'll be able to see a little post that I'm putting up there with a, with a photograph. I took a whole bunch of pictures with my phone. So I'm just irritated. They got rid of the lights. Now they're getting rid of the intercoastals. Oh, and making a new intercoastal. You know, I guess even if they ask, I mean, they don't ask you. You know, yeah, you know, I was dealing with, you know, the pure fishing guide program and all that stuff. Half the time I don't even use it. Why? Because I can buy rods that I want to use right down the street at Walmart. You know, but you think, who are they talking to? Who are they talking to? Who is making these decisions? What? Little birdies are coming down and saying, you need to change that intercoastal. You know, I know what it is. It's this, folks. I had two people on my boat from the Czech Republic this past summer. Um, man and a woman. The woman, she didn't speak one word of English, really. And her boyfriend was doing the interpreting the whole entire trip. And she was absolutely, a, she was a wonderful gal. She was, let me tell you, there's a huge difference between uh, Czech Republic women and American women. I'll tell you straight up, because I saw things. But I said during the charter, I asked, I asked her right to her face, I said, does this mean money in the Czech Republic? And of course, she's, she said something in you know, Czechoslovakian or whatever it is. And her boyfriend answered, he goes, Dave, that means money anywhere in the world. Because this guy was pretty worldly, let me tell you. So um, there you go. It's all this, folks. It's all this. It's not you. It's not you, it's never you. You're just what has to put up with it. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna post these pictures up on my community page now. And if you look at the whole community page, I actually have some other things up there too. Some videos that if you watch the entire video, it has nothing to do with fishing and I don't do that very often, it will blow your mind. Do you want a mind explosion with all the crap that's going on in our country right now? I have a video link, actually two of them, and it literally says, the first words are, want to be blown away? Watch that. Watch it.
mind warp time folks mind warp all right i'm done i'll see you on the next one sitting around the house got nothing to do i think i'll go fishing scare away the blues i'm going